a photograph of a rebel leader's son and his bride posing with automatic rifles at their wedding reception in Nagaland has created a major controversy at a time when the center is trying to close a historic peace deal with Naga groups in the northeast. The son of Oto Kiba, a top National Socialist Council of Nagaland Unification NSCNU leader, can be seen posing with an AK-56 and an M16 automatic rifle in the photograph that has been widely circulated on social media. Even guests were apparently shocked at this very public display of firearms at that reception which took place on the 9th of November. Ratnadeep joining us uh, with more on that story. Ratnadeep, as we see these uh, very alarming visuals, uh, what's the latest? That's right, these visuals are very alarming. In fact, some of the guests who were invited in that wedding reception on November 9th were also taken by surprise when uh, this uh, newlywed couple actually brandished those automatic rifles and they posed for their friends. And now the uh, Nagaland police has uh, registered a Suomoto case under, uh, you know, Arms Act. In fact, uh, the couple as well as the two NSN unification carder who were carrying those automatic rifles, who gave those rifles to uh, the couple for posing have been questioned. That's what we are hearing from uh, the police sources. We are also given to understand that they might be arrested, but there's no clarity in terms of when that's going to take place. Uh, the questioning uh, is taking place, but this comes at a time when, you know, the uh, NSNU uh, faction of uh, the NSN is also involved in the peace parlors. In fact, uh, Bohoto Kiba is a very top leader of that faction. And uh, what is also interesting is that the uh, Nagaland police actually act on this only after what official sources tell us that after the governor of Nagaland, Mr. Arun Ravi, who is also center's interlocutor for the Naga Peace Talk, actually uh, asked the government to look into this matter, given the fact that it kind of gives a wrong signal, the timing is very crucial. Remember, this is also a violation of the ground rules of ceasefire. NSNU is uh, uh, under ceasefire uh, agreement and their carders can carry uh, weapons for for uh, self-protection, but they're not supposed to brandish those weapons. So this uh, matter would be uh, brought uh, in uh, the ceasefire monetary committee meeting as well. That's what official sources are, uh, uh, have given us to understand. But as of now, a case has been registered. The couple have been questioned. That's what we're hearing from uh, the Mapur Police Commissioner's sources. But police is yet to make it clear that whether this couple would be arrested, uh, there are high chances of this, uh, this couple, as well as those two cadres of NSN uh, unification faction uh, uh, who gave the arms, uh, they may be arrested. Uh, or this also goes to show that how these rebel groups in Nagaland actually uh, hold so much of power that they uh, actually can brandish a uh, weapon uh, whenever they right. want. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, the easy availability of uh, automatic weapons is something that uh, center would also have to address to as, you know, New Delhi works its way uh, towards closing the Naga yes. peace deal.